This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Shalom Aleichem. So Israel Nathan, my sweet one, and I, we wanted to wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, reality. You know, it's uh, it's almost the end of this uh, deep day of Tisha B'Av. We have some issues of connection here, and also alarms. Uh, Nathan, are you scared of the alarms? Yes, a little. Why, why? What do you think that those alarms means? Mm, I don't know what. I don't think it means something bad. I think just uh, to keep us in good shape. What is it? What is it? What is it for? I don't know. Really, I don't know. Um, I think that... Um, this day of the uh, Tisha B'Av, it's a very, it's a very challenging day because it brings us to to deal with the certain reality that is very painful for for most of us. All the sorrow and the pain that we feel, and we are aware to all kinds of aspects of of the destruction of the temple and of our of our homeland and, and, and hometown and and we know how much we're suffering, you know, every people are suffering, right Israel Nathan? Life is yeah. not easy for everyone. People are going through what people are going through Israel Nathan? What I do you don't think? Know. No, you do. What? People we you met some people, right? People are not uh, always happy, right? Right. Sometimes people are suffering, sometimes and why? Why? Because most people they been killed. Many people been killed, you're right. And, and also uh, uh, father and mother, they, they're here. The kids. The what? kids. They've been killed? Yes. There were parents the that they killed. What? People killed with their kids? No, people Families? they eat the kids. Oh yes, this is horrible. Israel heard us uh, singing the the kinot, crying the from the ancient midrashim that were describing the parents that were starving in hunger and found themselves eating the flesh of of their own children. Right, Israel Nathan. Right. So horrible. And you know that those kinds of destructions happened to us more than once. First in the first temple, and then in the second temple, and then after it, even in the Holocaust, it was even worse than the destruction of the temples. What had happened to our nation, to our people, and to many others also in the days of the Second World War, it was horrible. Millions of people have been killed and starved to death and been tortured. So those days are, are challenging us, are waking up inside of us a very strong desire for, for recovering, for miracles, for wonders to, to happen in our lives. But in the same time, a very big disappointment, you know, we are believers and we're trying to do as much as we can for Hashem and we're praying to Hashem and we're calling Him and we're doing tshuva and and we're raising our children in a nice way and we're keeping shabbat and we're eating kasher and and we're making some funny faces to the camera and we're doing the best we can and still hashem he didn't uh, redeem us completely right so we're we're kind of uh, frustrated, disappointed. You know what's disappointed? No. We want the redemption already. We want Beit HaMikdash. Israel Nathan asked us yesterday, what you asked us yesterday, what you asked us, mother and I, what you asked us, if Beit HaMikdash will be rebuilt, will it be possible for us to go and visit there? You asked us, right? You're so naive and sweet. 
Okay. Of course we'll go. First thing we'll do when Beit HaMikdash will be rebuilt is to take our stuff and run back. So we're dealing with those feelings of, of disappointment, of, of, of expectations and hopes and, and, and years on years of, of, of yearnings and prayers and, 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 and we're dealing with those kind of disappointments in ways that, that are very hard. So I wanted to, to read to you a part from what that we read today in Kriyat Torah. This is our front yard. This is our front, Israel Natan. What are you showing, Israel? What do we have here that you're showing? Here is what? Here is your hidden place, that's where you're hiding. We have a chipmunk over there and also some birds that build their nests. Right? Right. Right. So, what? What you saw? There is a pipe that the chipmunk is hiding himself over there. So I wanted to to show you a verse that is so powerful and so strong and that's really the answer to all of our problems, to all of our problems. So the Creator Himself is telling us, like we read today in the Torah, that there is a horrible decrease and, te and, and, and curse, sorrow and pain and thousands are dying and people are, are, are suffering and whatever, all the, the, the results of the loss of, 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 the, of the temple, the destruction of the temple and that the supervision, the kind supervision of the Creator is, is like he, he's, he chose to, to hide from us in a way, so His mercy, His kindness are, are disappearing, hiding from our eyes in many ways. But look what Hashem is telling us, that after that He will spread us between the nations and we will stay, only few, few of us will stay, will survive. And so to, the, to those places that He will lead us, Asher Yanheg Etchem Shama, that He will lead you to those places. Vavadetem sham Elohim asede adam etz ve'even asher lo yiru'un ve'lo yishme'un ve'lo yichlun ve'lo yirichun And you will fall in your faith, you'll fall from believing in the Almighty, in the Good Creator and you'll worship idols, That's, that will be part of your failure. But then look, after that we are failing and, 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 and worshipping idols and losing our minds and, and, and failing in all kinds of of failure, what Hashem is telling us. Immediately Hashem is telling us, you should follow Amuna project, subscribe to our YouTube channels and, oh no, that's a different verse. Look what Hashem is saying. I'm not kidding, that's the real interpretation of this verse, listen. Ubikashtem misham et Adonai Elohecha umatsata that's it. That's the answer. And you will ask for Hashem Barach from the place that you will fall to that place. You'll fall to a horrible place. And over there in that place you should all ask Hashem, your God, and you will find it because you will ask for Him with all your heart and with all your spirit. And in the beginning the verse is saying, you should, plural, ubikashtem, you, plural, should ask Hashem, your God. And then he's saying uh, to an individual, umatsata, and you yourself, an individual, will find him, because you will ask for him with all your heart and with all your spirit. You see, umatsata, and you will find him because you will ask for Him with all your heart and with all your spirit. That's the answer. That's the complete answer to our problem, to all of our issue. That's the only salvation, that's the only thing that, that we need to do. 
we should ask for Hashem with all of our heart and with all of our spirit, no matter where we fell to, no matter how low we reached in our failures, no matter how horrible it was, no matter what happened, the present and the future are our future. We should do as much as we can right now to be nice and to be who we are. And 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 that's the answer to all of our issues. Right, soul? Right. Right. Staying right. Why are you agreeing with me? Why? Maybe you think differently. Maybe you think something else. What do you think? Let's make some faces to the camera. Mm -hmm. That's what you think right now? Nope. No, no. <laughs> I think you're a sweet genius, a little tiny genius. So, Baruch Hashem, what? Okay, Israel Nathan thinks that it's the time for a little magic. A little magic. No, not this, I think. About, I think about this, this. This is not so good for us, Asana. So what do you want? Let's change to our regular face and that's it. That's our regular, our regular face. Everything is cool with us. <laughs> we are now passing toward a better future. All of us were smiling. It's a wonderful period of time to live in, even though that people are suffering and we ourselves are handling and dealing with very hard situations. Still, in the same time, we can see the wonders of Hashem, how much Hashem never leaves us alone, never, never, never walking away from us, always, always, always helping us to come to the truth and to understand the greatness of His existence with us waking us up and making us sober and 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 healthy in our minds to really connect ourselves to him to love him to appreciate him people like us that did not grow up with traditional religion and no 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 religious education just doing the best that we can suddenly finding ourselves Stop. even trying and wanting and hoping and yearning to serve the Creator. That's that's such a, a miracle. It's such a divine thing. It's such a impossible thing to understand how the Creator chose us out of thousands and millions of people and woke us up. We were not worthy. We were far away from truth. We were far from keeping to our mitzvot. And the Creator just decided to reveal His loving kindness on us and to open our eyes, to wake us up, to smile to us, to bring us closer to Him. And there is nothing higher and more beautiful than that. Israel, you have every good quality in you. Oy vey. who bite you? Someone. Okay, guys, now you learn not to mess up with Israel Nathan. <laughs> guys, sky is the limit. Be happy, be strong, don't give up. No sadness, no despair. No sadness, no despair. We have our inner faith, we have our inner understanding, we have our truth. We have our hearts, we have our friendship, we have our goals. We have our dreams and we're not backing off and we're not backing off and we're not backing off. We're not going nowhere. We're going to make big changes in this world, in this lifetime. You're going to see wonders with me and I'll see wonders with you. And we're all going to make this world a much, much better place to live in. For the sake of our souls, of the souls of all of our beloved ones, our childrens, and the children of our children and more and more to come. Beautiful and wonderful things will happen and will take place in our lifetime. Are you ready? Hit the road. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.